I need some money so I can buy some Powerball tickets. But I'm broke. Let's just go to Powerball here and see what the jackpot is. 800 million? How do I get money? I guess I'll have to con old Buzz to get 10 bucks so I can buy some tickets. But how do I do it? I got an idea. I hear he's looking for evaporust for his chassis. I think Dickle can supply some for ten dollars. <laughs> well, I gotta get that chassis clean, and I gotta buy some evaporust. I wonder how much that stuff is here. Let's just look on the computer here. Type in evaporust. All right, there it is. O'Reilly's got it. Twenty-two ninety-nine for that? Oh my God! Hey, Buzz, what do you want? You don't have to buy that evaporust. rust. Why not? I've got some, and I'll sell it to you. You've got some? Yeah, you can have it for ten bucks. Ten bucks? That's a deal. <laughs> Thanks, Buzz. Buzz will have to soak his chassis for at least two days. By then, the lotto drawing will be all over, and I can pay him back his ten dollars out of my eight hundred million dollar winnings. <laughs> Here's your evaporus, Buzz. So that's it, huh? Looks like water. What? Water? How come it's not in the original jug? Uh, well, oh, the guy had a five gallon can, and I had this one gallon jug, and well, he just poured it in there for me. Wasn't that nice of him? Okay, well I'm gonna try it now. Now remember, Buzz, you gotta soak that chassis for over two days, all right? And then it's gonna come out looking great. <laughs> I bid thee welcome. Well, here we are on part two of this uh, Admo series, 1950. Radio Record Player Model 6S12 and as I said in my last video we're going to concentrate on the record changer at least for the first portion of this video okay let's go I've got it hooked up uh, haven't taken anything off we're going to just turn it on here and see if it works okay let's go I've uh, just been playing with uh, this mechanism here I figured out that this thing lifts up here that's probably what holds the, sits on top of the stack here. And so these things swing out. We're gonna see if we can get that to work here. So, I guess uh, we should just turn it on, huh? Okay, let's go. Whoa. Don't look too uh, good, huh? Crank it up to about 120 here. Here's the reject thing. Let's see what happens when I hit that? Oh, this is trying. Okay, well, let's turn this off. Let's take a look at uh, what's under this platter here. It looks like the uh, the C clip is missing here, so this should just lift right on out of here. Okay. Whoa. Does that look familiar or what? <laughs> Let's see what this looks like. Oh my god. Buzz, please don't screw this thing up. Buzz, do not screw this up. Do not screw those teeth up. Uh -huh, that's right. It almost looks like the same as the other one. That's right, dearie. Uh, that's right, sir. Alright, uh, here's the idler wheel here. Oh, this looks all. Might be crummy. Needs lubrication here. Let's just turn it on here. Uh, 
You got the motor turning. Look at the belt. Oh boy. Belt is not working. That looks like an easy fix. Our friend, uh, I'm a junk collector, sent me a couple of belts. Hey, Buzz 1151. Boy, that guy is nice. Look at this. He sent me these for the other record player. And this is for the Buzz Man from the Junk Man, Uncle Junkle. And he didn't even know that I was going to be doing this one. These look pretty old here. Hopefully they're still good. So let's put these these belts on here. Thanks, Don. You're welcome. Save me a few bucks. Wow, you are so cheap. Basically, this pretty much is the same as the other one. And no slip-ups, or you're going to need a doctor. This one. Looks like I got to stretch it more. To get it on there. Oop. <laughs> it's twisted. There. Let's turn it on here. And you, blue drive. Now you know how jittery I am. Any minute I'm out of explode, I'll get it. Here's the little thing that uh, comes over and pushes this little doohickey over and engages the. Uh, Where's the thingy? The gear here, so we'll shut this off. Shut this off. All you do is spin record, that's all you do. That's just like the other one. Where did you learn to do this? See what happens. Oh. I tried to make sense out of it and got nowhere. Oh, I see. This. this these. These rubber mounts here, pretty worn. That's the best damn rubber on the market. Oh, it's so noisy, I can't hear a thing. See, everything is pretty stiff. Now, this is not the type of... Uh, an auto shut off, so. For this thing runs counter to every known law of adaptive evolution. What happens if it, uh. Looks like it does go down there. That's funny, there's no rest or anything on there. I'll save your pity. I just need some rest. Squeaky. What's that noise? That looks like 78 here. Yeah, let's... That's supposed to be 45. It's not working. Rats! Let's try 33. This is great. Where do we go after the second feature? Works better on uh, 33. This, that was set for 12 inch record. Let's try a 7 inch record and see what it does. Should come over here more. Yeah. Cool. This tone arm is real light without the cartridge in it. So I don't think I'll have any problems putting a newer one in there. So I can play uh, the stereo records on it. That's a great idea, boy! What are you so nervous about? Anything wrong? But, is that supposed to just sit down like that? That's why I was talking about. It looks like this had this these two feet here. This is the cartridge here. Is it does it just supposed to sit down like that? If you look here, there's uh there's marks right there. Skid marks. Where these two leg I call them legs there are, so I don't know. Anybody out there has got one of these? 
Oh, look. See this move. Look here, amigo. You got the wrong idea. I guess it gets to the end of the record. Then, if it was a 12 inch record there, it would start playing again. So, I guess you gotta just remove it and put it down. Seems kind of uh, antiquated. Found out why the 45 wasn't working. This is the 45 uh, spindle thing, and there's supposed to be another belt under here. So, this takes two belts. And Don sent me two belts. Is he psychic or what? Who's the funny man? There we go, that's on 45 there. Let's see if we get the 45 to work. This is 45 next. All right. Ah, we're back in business, boys. This job isn't going to be like any of the others. I have ordered online a manual for this record changer and a Sam's Photofac for the uh, for the radio. So I should have all the info at the tip of my fingers. That's you in your head, kid. Well, I'm gonna tear this down, clean all the parts, put it back together, and uh, we'll take it from there. So the next time you see this, it should be all clean. And I'll tear Tear that down too. I've got a little bit of experience on these now since I did the other Admiral, so it shouldn't be too hard. Well, there it is. I broke it down as much as I'm going to. Try to clean that up and try to put that mess back together again. Holy Toledo. Remember, this had a big rust stain right here in the corner. Wow, they never told me this was in the script. So there it is after the teardown. I think it works. Let's see what happens here when we turn it on. Let's go watch! Oh, ah, it's a good eh? Could you look at that? Right on 33. Look at that! Look how she moves! That's just like jello on springs. 45. I ordered a, a new cartridge for this, but uh, I was just thinking here, you know, it might be fun just to hook up a, a cartridge in here to see if this uh, will work. Now, I've got the old cartridge from the, uh, the old Admiral from the last video. That, uh, that did work, so I think I'll put it in here and uh, quick wire it up and uh, see if we can play a record here. Sounds like fun, huh? the chassis 
Now that I have some evapo rust from Dickel, I'm going to take off the uh, the speaker, the tuning cap, and the uh, output uh, transformer so I can get ready to soak this thing. I need to document how this uh, string goes on here so I won't forget. It's got uh, both ends of the wire tied off on the spring. Blimey! And the spring is held in here on this side. Okay. Looks like it's wrapped two times around here. Shucks, this is fun, isn't it? And one time there, and one from the bottom. Oh, slow down, slow down. It's supposed to savor it. It's important in life. And it's hooked up from the bottom up here. There it is. When I get this in the evapor rust, it's going to take all this rust off, and this is going to look so pretty. Let's get back to the uh, the record changer. Okay, I have installed the cartridge. Let's turn it on here. We'll let it warm up here and see if we get any uh, reaction when I uh, touch this here. Oh. Alright, here we go. Hold your ears, folks. It's showtime. All right, let's see if it plays. I have an old 78 here. This is Harry Como because. Why? Because I'm sexy and chubby, man. Stick it on 78 and a 10 inch. It's on 78. This needs a new idler wheel, so I'm going to be getting that. And, and some motor mounts uh, shot too. Happy with that. Let's see what happens when it goes to the end. God made Looks like it's got a few bugs in it, so it's supposed to lift up. Hey you guys, anybody got some bug spray? It's stuck! This needs to be adjusted. And hope there it goes. I gotta adjust the uh, the height when it drops down there, but other than that. Spray that thing for bugs. <laughs> All right, that should do it with this episode. Oh, brother! Probably wasn't a very exciting one for you guys, but uh, it sure was a lot of work. So, 
thanks for watching, and we'll see you, uh, see you soon. Yeah, shit it! Huh? A wider world of hope and joy I see Because you count